aortic hamstring. So this drill is a fairly simple drill, and it's a good exercise to really work on strengthening our hamstrings through the eccentric motion, so the lengthening motion, and the concentric motion as we come and those, those muscles, spindles get shorter. So it's also a good drill if you don't have a glute ham machine, if you don't have any other way to possibly train the hamstrings with you know, equipment that you're looking for, all you really need on this is a partner or something to hold your feet, and then a pad for your knees. So in this drill, what we're gonna do is in a second, I'm gonna have one of my interns come in here and he's gonna hold my feet, but I'm gonna get us in that position first. So if I turn myself sideways, I'm gonna be going on my knees and then I wanna be a rod again. I wanna be a rod from my knee all the way through my ear. I don't wanna arch my back. I don't wanna bend and lean forward on the way down and also on the way up. So on the way up, some people when they do this, stick their butt out. You'll know because your partner will tell you to say, hey, don't put your butt in my face, man be a rod. So from this position, my feet, can, I just want them comfortable. So I can either go flat if that's comfortable. For me, it's more comfortable to be on my toes. And then my intern's going to come in here and he's going to hold my feet. So as I go down now, what I'll be working on is going as slow as I can towards the ground. And then I'm going to anticipate that ground and give myself a little bit of push to come back up. If I'm strong enough to do it without that push and go all the way down and back up, I got some pretty strong hamstrings and that's awesome. But most of us might not be there, so we're going to go down and then give ourselves a little bit of a push to get that concentric motion on the way back up. So my intern's going to come in here and he's going to hold my feet. And again, what I want to do is be this rod be flat in front, and then I'm gonna go down as slow as I possibly can, fight it, and then come back up, and I still be that rod from my ear through my hip, through my knees, and as, as you see, I didn't really stick my butt out, I tried to push and be that rod all the way through. So one more time from the side, as slow as I can, prepare for the ground, and then come back up. So if that's too far, if the ground's too far, thanks Steven, if the ground's too far, I got this box here. And so before I would have even gone, I would have gotten this box in the right position. And so now I don't have to go all the way down. I'd like to go all the way down, but if I can't get back up, I can just go to the box and then I can push myself back up from there. So you wanna get that box in position before you go, but it's, a, it's kind of a regression or we can kind of go backwards to eventually work towards the ground. So this is a great drill, especially for sprinters. We need to make sure we're working on lengthening. So the lengthening aspect of our hamstring when we hit the ground and the shortening as we come back up. And we're going slow and controlled through that, but it's gonna be a real good drill to make sure we're prepared for sprinting and working that strength of those hamstrings.